Is it a wave or is it a flutter? Just thought I'd try that. <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome back. It's always such a pleasure to have you join me. I hope that you've had a very, very good day and that you are ready for a nice, relaxing evening. It's Christmas Eve when I'm filming this. However, by the time I edit and upload, who knows, it might be the new year. If it's the new year, Happy New Year. If it's still Christmas, Merry Christmas. So, it's been a busy day for me. I've been preparing Christmas lunch. Christmas Eve is the cooking day. And this year I thought I'd try something a little bit different. I ordered a box from, I think it was my Kai. Kai is Te Reo for food. And it is a vegetarian, gluten-free box of meals for Christmas dinner. Vegan. I'm not a vegan. I am a non-meat eater. Vegetarian, I pres presume, I guess. And, um, yes, I thought I'd give it a go rather than the usual chicken, ham, da-da-da-da-da, hot stuff that we have with our salads and then I just eat the vegetables. So I did do some meat stuff for the meat eaters, the carnivores of the house. And a vegan box was ideal because it's vegetarian and my daughter is dairy free. So yay for that. Um, so I was busy in the kitchen. It's called the Kai box. menu we have the starter a grazing platter uses coconut milk mm -mm. and vegan cheese and followed by maple mustard cauliflower yum it looks pretty good now this is something I made today I made the portobello mushroom and lentil pie. It didn't look like the picture. I'm not the world's greatest cook. <laughs> but I try. Anyway, it looks pretty yummy and I did taste a little bit. Then we'll be having rocket and beetroot salad with tofu pretending to be feta. So the um, feta is marinating as we speak. And then we'll have pan fried green vegetables. So there are beans and there's broccoli. And this is followed by a vegan tiramisu which I have attempted to make. And it's in the fridge, hopefully setting. I couldn't the coconut cream to whip up. Maybe it'll do something in the fridge. And I've also done a vegan turkey roll. <laughs> Here's the recipe I scribbled down. And that's done 
with a tofu crust and inside it's got um, crushed up nuts and sun-dried tomatoes and yeast flakes. It's actually quite nice. I, I tried it a couple of weeks ago. Anyway, I'm wearing a Christmas t-shirt which you probably can't see. It's an elf. It's an elf on the shelf and it says, can't touch this. <laughs> because you're not supposed to touch the elf and MC Hammer, do 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 do, can't touch this. <laughs> okay, today my brother and his wife visited me and they came bearing gifts and we exchanged gifts but we weren't supposed to open them. They're not the sort of people that open presents as they receive personally. I think it's good manners to open a present immediately. But I followed protocol because it's not what they do and my children were finding it very, very difficult to keep their little fingers off. Now, I have always been a present poker and prodder. Not for wanting to open the gift so much. I like to open it on the day itself. But I like to try and guess what's in it. So I did have a bit of a, a, bit of a poke while they were there and tried to get clues as to what might be in the packages. They didn't give anything away. So I thought maybe you might enjoy the crinkles. Now, I think four of my children all have the same thing because they're grown ups, except for, well, one of them is 16. What are they? 16, 24, 29, and 33. How can that be? So they all seem to have the same package. Now, it's soft. So I'm thinking fabric. So I guessed a t-shirt but my sister-in-law shook her head. It's not a t-shirt. It seems to have something bumpy there. And it seems to be round bumpy, but still kind of soft. And something bumpy there, like, I don't know, maybe it's a pom-pom. Could be a bag. I'll try one of the other. Can you hear my birds in the background? I'm having a few interruptions. The children are awake and I've just had one of my children come and ask me, when is Santa going to come? Very noisily crashing up the stairs. Now let's try another one of these presents. And I know it's the same thing. Four of them are the same. Maybe that bump is in a different place. This is for my son. He's 24. There's that round bump here. And there it is there. It's quite hard. Maybe it's not a pom-pom. And... Oopsie. I did not do that. Oh dear, the tape's come off. You know, poking is not the same as peeking. Oh my gosh, I have absolutely no idea. Can you see in there? Can you see? I'm not going to look. I'm not going to look until tomorrow. And then maybe I'll take some photos and I'll put it at the end of the video. I'm not going to look. I'm 
I'm not. I'm not looking. It's definitely fabric. Wait, that seems to be like a rope or something. Do you suppose it's a bag? I'm not. I did not peek. You can testify. It's it's on film. The evidence is there that I did not peek. Oh, I forgot to tell you. I made a pavlova today. Or did I do it last night? I don't know. It's all a blur. And you know what? It turned out just like my mum's. Let me tell you a little story. When I showed it to my brother, when he married his first wife and he was going out with her, he's been married before. Um, he went to her place for dinner and with her parents to meet her parents and she'd made this dessert and he said, this is really good. What is it? And she goes, it's a pavlova. Now, pavlova, incidentally, is a New Zealand dish. It's absolutely divine. The Australians say it's theirs, but we all know that it was invented in New Zealand just between the women. And it's kind of a meringue with a crispy shell outside and it's all marshmallowy and soft inside and it's served piled up with whipped cream and fruit and it's delicious and he said you know what is this dessert it's absolutely wonderful and she said oh it's pavlova and my brother we're talking years ago my brother said no no, this isn't pavlova what is it and she said i told you it's pavlova and he goes that's not pavlova pavlova is meant to be brown and chewy and um yeah so i'll insert a picture i think this is what a pavlova is supposed to look like and this is mine it turned out just like my mum's It's kind of squidgy. It, I, I'm sure it'll taste good with cream. Um, they're normally about that, that, that say the proof is in the pudding. See what I did there? The proof is in the pudding is a saying and, and this is a dessert and kind of soft. And it's sticky. And uh, squelchy. It's kind of good. Actually, I think by the time I'll get all the whipped cream on, maybe some kiwi fruit. But it's not chewy. So not just like mums. I don't do mukbang. This isn't a mukbang. Let's put this away. Um, it's unhygienic now if I share it with the family because I've, I've touched it. So it's mine now. It's not meant to be spongy. any Kiwis are watching this I'm so sorry I'm so sorry and if there are any Australians watching please be kind <sighs> rest in peace Pavlova I'm so sticky now now back to 
the gifts. Another one. The same. I'm going to guess that it's a bag. It has to be something unisex. Because Morgan is a man. That's my son. I'm sure they're all the same. Maybe different colours. Oh, this is Charlie's gun. I, I don't feel the round bumps on this one. This one doesn't have the bumps. Is it a towel? That's too small to be a towel. Maybe a tea towel. A tea no, she said it wasn't a t-shirt. I'm definitely going for bags. But I'm not sure about this one. Um fragrant so it doesn't smell. It's got the clear plastic around here. Hmm, I was going to say a cup or a mug but that's got a slight rattle. Soap on a rope. Could it be soap on a rope? Something manly like an All Blacks football or something. Mm. I don't think it's a tin. Is it a tin? It's a tin. 
10. It's a 10. Slight rattle. Not too much biscuits. Bickies. Um, cookies. Cookies. Bickies. Something edible. He likes to eat. I wonder if it's home baking. Christmas Eve, I don't have to move the elves. I have two elves called Dennis and Denny. And you know what it's like, you go to bed at 11 o'clock at night, you're just about to drift off to sleep and then, oh my goodness, the elves. <laughs> and you have to try and think about what you're going to do with the elves. I just realised I've been knocking the wire on the microphone. I do apologise. Two more. Two more. And let me see, who would that be for? One of them would be for my little girl. And the other one would be for... Ah, let's see. Wait. That's me. Oh, it's for me. It's for me. Now she did tell me when I started to rattle. Do you suppose it's a Christmas decoration in, in a box? They do know that I like Star Trek and they have bought me Star Trek items before. Could it be a phaser? No, a phaser wouldn't be breakable or a tricorder. Star Trek related. I have absolutely no idea. What do you think? I'll find out in a few hours because I am opening this at midnight. <laughs> okay. Last one. For my little girl. She's eight. Now this is quite heavy. Heavy. 
I know. I think it is a make your own bath bomb set. I can't smell anything. I think it's a make your own bath bomb set. So if you just want to hang in there until the end of this video, I'll have opened up the presents. The children will have opened up the presents. We will have been to church. And you will be preparing your Christmas Eve while we're at church. <laughs> so, I think that will be all for now. Oh, did you see my bracelet? My daughter made them for me. She got into my beads. And she made these lovely bracelets for me. They're a little bit big, but I haven't told her that. Cute. I thought that'd sound nice. <laughs> one has a dolphin, and the other one looks like the peace sign. I didn't know I had those. I wonder where she found those. Anyway, if it's still Christmas time when you're watching this, Merry Christmas. If it's Christmas 2021 when you're watching this, wow, a very Merry Christmas. I hope it's been a great year because I don't know what's going on in 2021. Um... If it's the new year, happy new year, and may you have a blessed, blessed holiday season. I'm um, just going to have one more little nibble of this, but I don't want to get my hands sticky. So, God bless. Remember the reason for the season. God loves you. You are cherished by him. Merry Christmas. Now stand by for what is in these presents. Bye bye for now. Mm. That's disgusting, I shouldn't do that.